Number one, what is the absolute value of 6 plus 8i? The absolute value of 6 plus 8i is equal to the square root of 6 squared plus 8 squared. 6 times 6 is 36. 8 squared, which is 8 times 8, that's 64. 36 plus 64 is 100. And the square root of 100 is 10. So therefore, D is the right answer. Number 2. Simplify the following expression. So go ahead and try this problem. So first, let's distribute 5. 5 times 2 is 10. And 5 times negative 3i, that's negative 15i. Now let's distribute negative 4. Negative 4 times 4 is negative 16. And negative 4 times 6i is negative 24i. So now let's combine like terms. 10 minus 16 is negative 6. And negative 15i minus 24i, that's negative 39i. So we could see that answer choice E is the right answer. Number 3, simplify the following expression. So what do you think the answer is going to be? A, B, C, D, or E? Well, we need to FOIL. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times negative 2i, that's negative 10i. And then 2i times 5, that's positive 10i. And lastly, 2i times negative 2i, that's negative 4i squared. Negative 10i plus 10i, these two will cancel. And we know that i squared is equal to negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is plus 4. And 25 plus 4 is 29, which is the answer. So A is the answer. Number 4, expand. Expand and simplify. So 3 plus 7i squared is equivalent to 3 plus 7i multiplied by 3 plus 7i. So now let's FOIL. 3 times 3, that's going to be equal to positive 9. And then we have 3 times 7i, which is 21i. Next, 7i times 3, that's uh, also 21i. And then 7i times 7i, that's equal to positive 49i squared. So next, we can add like terms. 21i plus 21i, that's equal to 42i. Now we know that i squared is negative 1. So we have 49 times negative 1, which is basically equivalent to negative 49. 9 minus 49 is negative 40. So the answer is negative 40 plus 42i. And that answer corresponds to answer choice A. Number 5. Which of the following is equal to i raised to the 59? So 59 divided by 4, if we get the decimal value of that, it's equal to 14.75. Now if we take 14 and multiply it by 4, that's 56. So we want to break this into i raised to the 56 times i to the third. 56 plus 3 is 59. And 56 divided by 4 is 14. So I'm going to rewrite i to the 56 as i to the fourth raised to the 14, because 4 times 14 is 56. i to the fourth is always equal to 1. i to the third is equal to negative i. 1 to the 14 is 1, so times negative i, the final answer is negative i. So c is the right answer. So keep this in mind. i is equal to the square root of negative 1. i squared is negative 1. i cubed is i squared times i. Ne i squared is negative 1, so negative 1 times i is negative i. So i cubed is negative i. i to the fourth 
is i squared times i squared, which is negative 1 times negative 1, and that's positive 1. So make sure you know these four values. Number 6. Simplify the expression shown below. We can break up square root negative 14 as root 7, 2, and negative 1. 7 times 2 times negative 1 is negative 14. 7 times 3 times negative 1 is negative 21. Now we can combine the square root of 7 times the square root of 7. That's equal to the square root of 49, which is equal to positive 7. The square root of 2 times the square root of 3, that's equal to the square root of 6. And the square root of negative 1 is i, so we have two of them, or i times i. i times i is i squared, and i squared is equal to negative 1. Negative 7 times negative 1 is positive 7. So the final answer is positive 7 root 6. Number 7. Rationalize the denominator and simplify. So the first thing we need to do is multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate is going to be 3 minus root 2i instead of 3 plus root 2i. You have to change the sign. So on top, we need to distribute the 9. 9 times 3 is 27. And 9 times root 2i is just 9 root 2i. On the bottom, we need to FOIL. So 3 times 3 is 9. And then we have 3 times negative root 2i. And then root 2i times 3, that's positive 3 root 2i. And then finally, square root 2i times negative square root 2i. The square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. And we have a positive times a negative, so it's going to be a negative. And then i times i is i squared. Now the two middle terms, negative 3 plus 3, they will add to 0. And negative 2i squared will become positive 2, since i squared is negative 1. And 9 plus 2 is 11. So the final answer in A plus BI format, it's 27 over 11 minus 9 root 2 over 11 times I. And so that's it. Number 8. What is the absolute value of 5I raised to the 12th power minus 3I to the 19th power? Whenever you want to find the absolute value, you need to get it in A plus BI format. So let's simplify i to the 12th is basically i to the 4th raised to the 3rd power. i to the 19th is i to the 16th times i to the 3rd. Now we know i to the 4th is 1. And i to the 16th is i to the 4th raised to the 4th power. i to the 3rd is negative i. So this is going to be 5. And then this is 1 to the 4th, which is just 1. So we have 5 minus 3 times negative i which is 5 plus 3i. So now that we have it in a plus bi format, we can now find the absolute value. So the absolute value is going to be the square root of 5 squared plus 3 squared. 5 squared is 25, 3 squared is 9. 25 plus 9 is 34. So the answer is the square root of 34. Therefore, b is the right answer. Number 9. Simplify. In order to simplify this expression, we need to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator, which is going to be 4 plus 3i. Don't forget to change the sign. So let's go ahead and FOIL 4 plus 3i and 3 plus 2i. 3 times 4, that's equivalent to 12, and then 3 times 3i that's 9i. 2i times 4, that's going to be 8i. And 2i times 3i, that's 6i squared. So now let's move on to the bottom part. 4 times 4, 
is 16. 4 times 3i, that's positive 12i. And then negative 3i times 4, that's negative 12i. And then negative 3i times 3i, that's negative 9i squared. So on top, we can combine 9i and 8i. 12i and negative 12i will cancel. So this is going to be 12. 9 plus 8 is 17. 6i squared, that's negative 6. And negative 9i squared is positive 9. 12 minus 6 is 6. And 16 plus 9 is 25. So the final answer is 6 over 25 plus 17 over 25 times i. So that's it. Number 10, using the expression shown below, what is the value of x plus y? So how should we begin? Our goal is to find the value of x and y separately. If we could find it separately, then we just got to add it. x plus y, that's going to be the answer. So let's separate the real numbers from the imaginary numbers. Every number that has an i attached to it is imaginary. Every number that doesn't have an i attached to it is a real number. So let's find the value of x. So let's write an equation that only contains real numbers. So 7 plus 3x is equal to 8x minus 8. So let's subtract both sides by 3x. And let's add 8 to both sides. Seven plus eight is 15, eight minus three is five. So five X is equal to 15, and 15 divided by five is three. So X is equal to three. Now let's write an equation that only contains imaginary numbers. Negative three I highlighted in green is equal to six Y I plus nine I. So if we subtract both sides by nine I, we can see that negative 12i is equal to 6yi. Next, let's divide both sides by 6i. i divided by i is 1. Negative 12 divided by 6 is negative 2. So y is equal to negative 2. So now we can find the value of x plus y. x is 3, y is negative 2, 3 plus negative 2 is 1. So the answer is b.